Get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. Get ready, get ready for a tea time and filter with your girl every tea. Spilling all this hot tea on this podcast street. So get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. From tea time and filter with your girl every tea. Hey, tea sippers. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, lovely tea and Emily. Emily, say what's up to the people. Hey, everybody. What's up? So it is a lot going on right now. And Mm -hmm. the jokes just keep writing themselves. So so if you guys do not know what's going down is that basically there's a crazy video going viral of the Color Purple cast. So you have Fantasia, you have Danielle, you have Taraji, you have Oprah, and you got a few other people. And they are at the um, the American Critics' Choice Awards. The American Critics' Choice Awards. And basically, they're there. And um, they are being served, it looks to me to be cold pizza. These mm-hmm. thin-ass pizzas in a, ba- in a bag, and um, they also had like these bootleg charcuterie boards. And so everybody is just cackling at this video. So we're going to go ahead and watch this video. And the funny thing is how I compared it to my event. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. <laughs> go watch this. So for you, we have a plate of very decorative homes. And, and a lot of this is like a buffet. I'm the Love and Hip Hop um, reunions. She posted a picture and she says they had pizza in a bag, Baja Fresh, and a lazy charcuterie. And what's crazy is you look right here and you can see the little cup of Baja Fresh nachos with a little thing of salsa. And oh, then, wow. Then, yeah, the charcuterie has like just regular saltine crackers and rich crackers <laughs> sitting on top of lettuce. I've seen that at Kroger. Yes. And then they got the nerve to put down Critics' Choice Awards as if this is even appealing. <laughs> so I cackled when I seen this. I was really shocked. And then I, Me thought, too. Back to, and then I thought back to my event and I'm like, I would never. And so Mm-mm. I ended up posting this video of just, you know, just a little bit of what we did that weekend. All right, so you guys just saw that video. Um, and Emily can well, attest to it because you know- I was about to say that food at the New Year's event was so fire. Oh my god, it was so good. Like I the the cornbread, the cornbread was hitting, but shout out to the caterers because they did the damn thing. Everything on my plate was fire. And I, I kept a couple of them little dessert things. Me and Charnetta was we had those in the fridge at the uh the hotel. They mm-hmm. everything was so good from like the sides to to the meats to the the desserts. Everything was fire. I went back for seconds on that cornbread. I don't know how they made that cornbread, but it was so good. It really was. And that's the thing. Like I would like I'm shocked that that is what they are feeding people. Oprah's ass is a whole billionaire. And y'all are sitting here giving her and the other ladies pizza in a bag. Like, that's yeah, the thing. like I've hosted better events in my house. Like when I did the top right. bar. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. It had options for people who um you, vegan vegan yep. options. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I had I, shrimp tacos, beef tacos. They was fire too. But you know what's crazy? One is the fact that it's pizza. But at first, I'm like, is that pizza? Because I couldn't even really tell. I'm like, is this some fancy thing I've never heard of? Is it just? But I mean, no, it's just a really shitty pizza. And you know, there there's this you know the saying about people like you can't have bad pizza. Pizza's pizza. But that pizza looked disgusting. It looked like it was real thin, like a, a um, cracker for crust. I mean, it mm-hmm. was just like real. Cr- it wasn't. It didn't even look like good pizza. And then it's in a bag. 
That's what I didn't understand. The fact that you just put a slice of pizza in the bag and let's not get started on that. Pizzagate. Right, really exactly. That's what it reminded me of, of. I'm like, what in the Pizzagate is going on here? Like, Maybe who it was gives a reminder. people pizzas? Right. You know? <laughs> like they all but got just, tea on them. Right, but it just shows you, though, that the industry is really struggling, that they can't even provide them proper meals. Fantasia looks like she's starving. Taraji looks like she's about to break down crying again. Mm -hmm. And then Danielle's like, fuck it. Let me just go ahead and eat, honey. Yeah, I know. Shit. When you're hungry, you're hungry. I get it. I'm like that, too. Sometimes when I'm hungry, I'm not picky. Whatever. I'll take what I can get. But at the same time, once again, it just goes to show, like you always say, what glitters is not always gold because I was shocked. I've... I've been, you know, like I've stopped at a gas station before and got some of the, you know, was it like Hunt's Brothers pizza? Mm -hmm. Even that shit don't come in a bag. It comes in a, at least a little box, like kind of like what the the fruit and stuff was in. Mm -hmm. I was shocked when they pulled pizza out of a bag. I've never seen that before. Yeah, it looked really tacky. And my thing is when you're doing things for people that you appreciate and that you care about, you go all out. I just right. don't care. Like I even whenever I've done my events, I've always gone all out. Like I'm not gonna have people spend money, fly into town, get hotel rooms, and then the venue looks like shit. Or the venue's like some smoke filled basement and we're eating <laughs> box lunches. Like, no, it's about to be catered. There's gonna be treat tables, there's gonna be dessert, the food's gonna be on point. Like that is like the whole point of a party is definitely right. the food. Yeah, that's definitely a big point of it. I mean, the last event um, in uh, in May of last year, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, I cannot believe that's last year. Like, I I'm know. still kind of stuck in 2023. But um, the food there was fire. That fish was on point. And then the event prior to that one, the the dinner that we had, um, the food there was so good. Oh, the one remember. in Jonesboro? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the outside, like, it, mm -hmm. even though it was summertime, like, it still felt good outside. The music was going. The drinks were flowing. The food was good. Like, I'm so surprised this is an award ceremony, and that's what they're they're giving them. And I'm surprised Oprah's just sitting. What, what, is she just not going to eat it? She's just sitting there doing a smiley face with her yeah, hands? What like, code I'm is not, that? Yeah, she said, I'm not messing up my lipstick, girl. Ah, uh, bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> you, you ain't just don't want to be photographed pizza. with the pizza because of Pizzagate. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. She knows they're about to go crazy on TikTok with her eating that cracker pizza. Exactly. That's why she's trying to act like, oh, no, I'm not hungry. Girl, boy. I you know. know. They the ain't fooling nobody. Yeah. No, it really isn't. It's just like, it doesn't make sense to me because <laughs> it's like, you know, these are people who have money. The industry is supposed to be rich and, you know, mm, glamorous here and everything's supposed to be elegant. And it's just like, this is not, this is not giving what y'all thought it was going to give. And you can tell, like, you the know, Baja the a they feel a way. Mm -hmm. And you know, what would, what would, uh, Mona or not Mona, um, Nina Parker, mm -hmm. she's so funny for posting that. Like for her to take a picture and actually post it, that that's hilarious. And for them to just put their little, you know, stamp on the box, like it's, you know, somewhat <laughs> more than what any regular person can. I'm thinking shrimp and lobster towers and like, you know, like real right. fancy stuff at an award ceremony. When they pulled that damn pizza out that bag, once again, I wasn't for sure what it was. And then I was like, oh, my God, that's pizza out of a bag. Yeah, it looked it's like a bag lunch. <laughs> yeah. you, have it, you know, like at those free a lunch programs. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what in the hell? What in the bag lunch, the free lunch program is going on here? I you guess know. they're letting them know, look, the budgets are short and this is what y'all are getting and you'll either eat it or you don't. And Oprah said that she didn't want to mess her lipstick up. Yeah, it's a mess. That whole situation. And I just find it funny. It could have been a taco in a bag. It could have been a sandwich oh, in God. a bag. <laughs> but no, it was a pizza in a bag. Uh, it makes so. me wonder what's on that pizza. If they would have pulled a bologna sandwich out of that bag, I would have died. Yeah. So it just lets you know that, you know, again... Everything that glitters is not gold. And uh, these folks are definitely going through it. So, yeah, you know, everybody wants to go to these Hollywood events, honey. Y'all might want to get on these tea sipper events because we be eating I know well, that's right. kicking Very it well. and having a good old funky time. You seen the comments on um that post. There's a bunch of tea sippers like, oh, yeah, the food in ATL was hitting. The food in Minneapolis was hitting. I don't know what they're eating in this video. <laughs> yeah, that that's crazy. And I couldn't even tell what kind of pizza it was. But no, I'm t I had... Uh... What was it? It was, gosh, this seems like just the other day. 
I went back for seconds when I'm telling you the cornbread was so good. Like, I don't know how they made it, but I'm going to figure it out one day and I don't, I don't cook, but I'll figure out <laughs> someone else to make it for me because it was just so fire. And then there was a girl there who was like a, a trainer. And even she was like, I'm trying to watch what I eat. But we was running back to that buffet because it was so good. <laughs> It we really to fight was over that mac and cheese too. It was so good. You're trying to hurry up and get back before it's all gone, but there was plenty to go around. Yeah, yeah, we made sure there was enough, but yeah, it was definitely really, really good. And I'm glad everybody enjoyed themselves. It looks like we had a, a good old funky time compared to what they were having at the, you know, choice of the critics' choice. I'm appalled. I'm appalled. Like I, I've just, I've never seen pizza in a bag like that. Is that something that like is common? And, and like uh, in certain places, because no, usually never it comes it. in a box. Yeah, I've never seen it. I think maybe they just did it in a bag for convenience, you know, to be able to pass it around. <laughs> I mean, it was just weird. The whole Imagine if they had like a box of pizza and was just like, you know, pulling out the <laughs> spatula and slapping it on the table. <laughs> <laughs> like in the like the old school lunch ladies. Yeah. Here goes your <laughs> slice next. Right. Hell, they might as well have. <laughs> That was a mess. So now, speaking of the color purple ladies, if you don't know, once again, Taraji's out here complaining. And she's basically now saying that she wants everybody to stop focusing on the negativity. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you this here. She wants everyone to start focusing on the movie itself. So this is what's being reported. Raji P. Henson is ready for the narrative surrounding the color purple to change. Recently, her comments about her experience pay disparities in Hollywood <laughs> and the revelation that she nearly turned down the Broadway musical adaptation because she felt lowballed went viral. Now Henson is asking that attention return to the film that was released last Christmas. I hope they can focus back on this film because right now, to me, it feels like what I said is now becoming louder than this beautiful film. Henson tells today, while promoting her always discreet brand partnerships, and that's not fair to me. Anybody in film, because this film deals with women who are oppressed, who live in an oppressed system, men and women, and all the characters in the film except for the white people. So the movie is about healing, and that movie is about sisterhood. So a lot of people are literally dragging her currently on social media. Like, how dare you now tell people that they need to focus on the film when you literally went on a hobo tour telling everybody who would listen all of your grievances? Yeah, what does she think was going to happen? It sounds like someone got in her ass and was yeah. like, you better come out here and say something. But I mean, I well, what did she think was going to happen when she, you know, which I mean, she has every right to, you know, speak her her truth in regards to the issues with her pay and stuff like that. Like that's fine and well, but it just seems very contradictory. Is that a word? <laughs> um, to to come out now and be like, no, 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 never mind. Y'all don't y'all don't focus on that. Focus on the movie when the whole press tour was her talking about how she wasn't paid enough. And it was very emotional too. I mean, she was breaking down crying and all that, which mm -hmm. I mean, I, I do like Taraji. Like Hustle and Flow. I know that's not like her most like reputable <laughs> film, but Hustle and Flow is one of my favorite Memphis. movies. Especially from Memphis, talking about some damn Hustle and Flow. <laughs> I know it's one of my favorite movies and I loved her as Shug. I know that's not one of her award winning movies, but I still love it. <laughs> but nonetheless, you know, um, I just don't know what did she expect to happen. And now that she's coming out telling people like pretty much, never mind. It's yeah. like, do you, do you want them to support you or no? Because, you know, the Internet's going to Internet. Exactly. And once the, you know, the toothpaste is out of the tube, honey, you can't put it back in. And right. the problem is not so much her speaking about the pay disparities, because that's a real thing that's happening in Hollywood and especially to women of color, you know, but there's a time and place for everything. And mm -hmm. if you're there to promote a movie, it should have been about the movie. It was too many instances where she kept making it about her. Everything right. was about her pay. Then there was another instance where she was crying and they were saying, I'm, I'm not pretty enough and I'm not cute enough. And then she was ranting about how her managers dropped the ball, Um, you know, during her stint on Empire. They didn't get her brand deals. That had nothing to do with the color purple. So now she wants everybody to run back and go watch it. But that kind of turned a lot of people off. And Oprah got really attacked for this because, you know, they looked at it like she's a executive producer why is she not making sure that these women are safe and paid well and then remember she was also complaining about the car 
saying that, you know, they didn't have, you know, security to drive them to set. So she did a lot of complaining. And oh, I yeah, she put them all on blast. We yeah. know all the color purple tea because of Taraji. Right. I um, thought if people are not watching the movie and they're focusing on everything but the movie. Well, sorry, Taraji. We love you. You know what I'm saying? You my girl, Yvette. You know, make <laughs> with my movie. Um, right. But, oh, yeah. 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 But she dropped the ball on this, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't know what she expected to happen when the entire press run, you know, she was talking about the the issues with pay, but she you know, does strike up a bigger conversation, which leads away from the movie and, you know, how different people, you know, how black women are treated differently in the industry. Um, that was definitely the conversation that that started from, you know, which has been a conversation for a while, but she definitely brought this about and, you know, like they were bringing up Monique and all different, like it did definitely take away from the movie. Um but I will also say, with all that being said, I think right now, because a lot of people were going hard for her and mm -hmm. like having her back, because I think a lot of people can relate to it right now. We're in a, a time where people, you know, like are going to work and they go to work and they don't know if they're going to still have their job. They're laying people off left and right. You and I have talked about this before. People I know, my husband, all kind of people are going to work and they're like, dang, they just like three, four people off at work today. So mm -hmm. people in real life are really going through it right now. So sometimes they either are one going to relate to what she's saying because they feel it or they're going to feel away because it's like, all right, I get your, you're still making millions of dollars. I don't know how I'm going to pay my rent next month. So sometimes yeah. people don't want to hear celebrities complain about it. So when they do, and then they ride for you and then you're like, ah, never mind. People going to feel away. Exactly. I get it. Now there is some blind item tea that came in. Now Kenya sent me this, honey. Okay. So this is, you know, again, allegedly it's just a little blind item that was on the internet. I love and me so, a blind item. I know, right? <laughs> so this is what this blind item is saying. I'm reading it from my phone. Um, they're saying that there was an emergency conference call with all producers and the Warner Brothers executives last week to discuss the lackluster ticket sales of the $100 million film, The Color Purple. No cast members were on the call, but Taraji's name was brought up many times. Fantasia and Danielle's names were never mentioned. They fulfilled their duties for promotion and played the game the way they were supposed to play it. Both have negative, both have made negative comments in regards to the film, but executives blame Taraji Henson for derailing the promotional efforts of the film and using it as a selfish opportunity to change her personal narrative as an aging, underpaid actress. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn, why they got to do Taraji like that? <laughs> I love a good blind item, honey. Me, me too. Finish. Damn. So now they're saying executives feel that Oprah should have taken Taraji to the side when she noticed she was taking the promotional efforts in a negative space. Oprah was angry and defended herself, saying she's not in control of what the talent She's not in control of what the talent, she never mentioned Taraji's name, I'm told, says or does while on the promotional trail, nor did she feel it was her responsibility. That is when shit hit the fan. Now, mind you, director Blitz Bazawule was not invited to the call or discussed he was the hired help to fulfill his duties. In fact, he was praised during the conference call for his work by executives who were happy with the production as a whole. Oprah and her business partner and attorneys were on the call. After about 15 minutes of the blame being put on Oprah, Oprah trying to defend Taraji, but still not speaking her name, Oprah conceded that she would have taken the promotional efforts by the rails and had a meeting with the talent to discuss keeping the promotion fun and light, considering how heavy the film truly is. How, however, this isn't Oprah's first time at the rodeo, and she was not about to let the Warner Brother executives place all the blame on lackluster performances of The Color Purple slowly on her. Executives feel that Fantasia gave a fine performance, but they wanted Tony Award winning Cynthia Iverio from the start to play Celie and Journey Smollett, who showcased her singing in Birds of Prey, to star as Suge and Oprah and wouldn't let Oprah forget it on this call. Oprah was further chastised for not securing A-list talent in a movie who could have bought in bigger box office numbers. Marshala Ali and Jamie Foxx were favorites 
to star as Mr. by the executives prior to Jamie's health incident, of course. They also wanted a bigger role for Mr. and his redemption storyline to be more fleshed out to make the role more attractive to big name actors. Taraji's name was up and down this phone call, I am told. Not only do the film executives feel like she was personally set out to destroy the promotion of this film, they felt her tone change when she was not nominated for a Golden Globe like her fellow co-stars Fantasia Barino taylor and Danielle Brooks. And that is when the negative press and complaining began, according to executives. They feel like Oprah should have talked to Taraji and turned things around before the media made it a huge deal. Oprah tried to defend Taraji and say that social media took clips of the interview and then put them together to create their own narrative. Executives feel like Taraji totally derailed the promotional efforts of the film and that the ladies in general went way too deep and way too heavy while promoting a film in which a joyful noise was to be celebrated. The film was filled with uplifting music. It was a tale of triumph and forgiveness. And that is what they feel should have been the focus. Taraji used the platform in the wrong way, according to executives. And all of this, including the proposed drama with her and Oprah, created a negative space for film goers who did not, tone, who did not turn up for the film in the way in which Oprah had hoped. Taraji has been officially blackballed. She oh. went about this the wrong way. Yes, her issues are valid, but this was not the time nor place to express them. She needed this film to be a hit, and she could have been out there singing its praises. Mm. You know, that that was a lot. And that definitely, to me, in my mind, as I'm listening to it. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.